A Faraday cage, also known as a Faraday shield, is an enclosure or structure designed to block electromagnetic fields, including radio waves, electromagnetic radiation, and static electricity. It is named after the English scientist Michael Faraday, who first conceptualized and experimented with this concept in the 19th century. Key characteristics and uses of a Faraday cage are 1. Shielding electromagnetic radiation. A Faraday cage is constructed using conductive materials, typically metal, such as copper, aluminum, or steel. These materials are excellent conductors of electricity, and when properly grounded, they can absorb and dissipate electromagnetic fields. 2. Electromagnetic compatibility, EMC. Faraday cages are used in various applications to create environments that are shielded from electromagnetic interference. This is crucial in fields such as telecommunications, electronics, and scientific research to ensure that sensitive equipment is not affected by external electromagnetic signals. 3. Protecting sensitive electronics. Faraday cages are used in laboratories, manufacturing facilities, and data centers to shield sensitive electronic devices from electromagnetic radiation that could potentially disrupt their operation. 4. Electromagnetic pulse, EMP protection. Faraday cages are sometimes designed to protect critical infrastructure or military facilities from the effects of an electromagnetic pulse, which can be generated by nuclear explosions or solar storms. EMPs can damage or disrupt electronic systems, and a Faraday cage can mitigate these effects. 5. Privacy and security. Some individuals and organizations use Faraday cages to protect against unauthorized access or tracking of wireless communication devices. For example, a Faraday bag is a portable enclosure that can block radio signals, commonly used to secure mobile phones and key fobs. 6. Physical construction. A Faraday cage can take various forms, from small, portable containers to large, fixed structures. The cage's effectiveness depends on factors like the material used, the thickness of the conductor, and the frequency of the electromagnetic field it needs to block. It's important to note that Faraday cages are not 100% effective at blocking all electromagnetic radiation. Their effectiveness depends on factors like the design, materials used, and the specific frequencies involved. Additionally, for a Faraday cage to be effective, it must be electrically grounded to allow the absorbed energy to dissipate safely. Faraday cages are a valuable tool in electromagnetic shielding and play a critical role in protecting sensitive equipment and environments from unwanted interference. Subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.